for fresh alphanumeric produce, you have come to the right place. We have quality beans to count and very nice words to try. And introducing two cool cucumbers who certainly know their onions, Lily Turner. Hey Richard. Hey David, that's all. Hey Richard. Now David, you're always listening out for, uh, for words and things and of course it's been the weekend, so I'm sure you've heard something. Well, it's been the Easter weekend and my daughter Tess, I think she might have overloaded on the bilbies. Uh, not that I was bilby counting. <laughs> These are the chocolate bilbies. The chocolate bilbies. Instead of the Easter wrap bunny. And I said, how many of those have you eaten? And she said, just build a bridge, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Now, that's a great phrase, but I'm afraid I actually don't quite know what it means. Well, part two of that phrase is, and get over it. Uh, but it's a <laughs> phrase... See, okay, that's great. It is a ripper. I think it's uh, going to stick around for a little while. It's a very nice turn of yeah. phrase. I might try and use that <laughs> Welcome, Lily and David. Thank you. And two people with a fresh crop of new ideas. Our contestants, starting with our carryover champion, Ben Fisher, who is back for his sixth and final night. Welcome again, Ben. Thank you, Richard. It has been uh, a terrific run over last week's shows. Four conundrums in a row, I think. Your last four conundrums you've got. That's a fantastic record. Uh, yeah, and certainly not one I've uh, replicated at home. <laughs> I think at home I get one out of ten, so I'm uh, oh, well, very you've, surprised. You've been bringing top performance to, uh, to this show. You've also shown a terrific aptitude for tweakage, and I'm sure that's made Lily very happy. Yes, well, I think uh, when I started watching the show, I could never get the numbers, and then Lily, through her tutelage, um, managed to teach me tweaking. So that actually makes you get closer to the numbers. So well, it's good. It's certainly worked well for you, so uh, good luck tonight. Welcome back. And tonight's challenger is taxi driver and teacher Matthew Thomas. Hello, Matthew. Hello, Richard. Now, the type of teaching you're doing at the moment is... English as a second language? Yes, uh, we call it survival English. It's just to allow them to catch things like trams, fill in forms, uh, basically do a lot of things that you and I might take for granted. Very important skill. Good luck tonight. Thank you. So, to both of them, a warm welcome, Ben Fisher and Matthew Thomas. <laughs> Let's get the week going as usual with uh, a few letters. Ben, you definitely know what to do by now. Can I please start with a consonant? And another consonant? F. And another consonant, please? C. Um, one more consonant? T. Um, and a vowel, please. A. Um, another vowel? E. Uh, one more vowel? Another E. A consonant, please. H. And finally, one more vowel. And last letter... I. First talk for the week. I think so. I think there's a uh, stray uh, letter there. Let's have a look. If, uh, it's only ES, so that takes us back to Matthew's word. Uh, fetches, fetches seven, great start. And teachers is also there for seven. Well found, David. And nice start for Matthew on seven points. Bad luck for Ben. Next letters, and your first choice, Matthew. Uh, I'd like a confident. Thank you, Lily. Sure. Let's start with M. A vowel. O. Another vowel? U. A consonant? S. A vowel? 
Aye. Another vowel? A. A consonant? R. A consonant? L. And I'll finish with a vowel, thanks. For and last letter, E. 30 seconds. Matthew? A seven. Ben? I also had a seven. Actually. Let's start with yours, if we may. I had mousier. And uh, Matthew? Lousier. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Couple of comparatives there, David. Mousier, lousier, no troubles. What did you find? Moralise is a lovely eight, but an unusual word that's also there is solarium, which is another word for sunroom. Ah, good find, David. But a uh, very nice score for Ben and Matthew, seven each. Yes, here we are, our first numbers for the week. Our contestants, of course, had to multiply, add, divide or subtract the selected numbers to try to achieve that target and to choose those numbers. Now, Ben, you've been a little consistent and a little conservative in your choice. This is your last night. It is a chance to do something, you know, a little out of the ordinary. Am I persuading you yet? I think you have, and I think Lily's outfit, so I think I will go with Snow White and her five dwarfs. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Snow White. <laughs> Snow White and five dwarfs. Thank you, Ben. And our number is nine, one, six, four, five, and the large is 50. The target to reach is 883. We're chasing it. Selection. I want to know which of the dwarfs was missing. You know, we, I think we... Sleepy and, uh, <laughs> and I think me, maybe, but I, I didn't get anywhere. Nowhere near. No. Oh, bad luck. What about uh, you, Matthew? I might try for 893. Right on that edge of the scoring zone, but uh, that's certainly potentially there. Tell us what you did. Uh, Lily, 5 plus 4 is 9. 5 plus 4 is 9. Plus 9. Plus 9 is 18. Times the 50. By the 50 is not... 900. Uh, right. I took away the 6. Take the 6. And took away the 1. And take the 1 is 893. Okay, so we're 10 off, but uh, Matthew has just crept into the scoring zone. What a tough mix to start on a Monday night. Yeah, look, Richard, it was really tough, and um, I couldn't get 883 in the 30 seconds, so maybe I'll have to think about it over the break. Okay, well, take a little more time as we go to our break and uh, see what you can do, Lily. Let's have a look at the scores. Ben is on seven. Matthew, with that extra five, is now on 19, and we are heading for our first break. And the first word mix for tonight, fibre den. And the clue, be a buddy, pal, chum. See you after this. Yeah. 